Okay, welcome to the first problem of the ACT science section practice. If you haven't taken a look at the intro uh, video, make sure you do that before this, and also make sure you uh, print out a copy of the ACT science section. There's a link on the site where you can print it out. It's only two pages. So let's start with uh, number one. Again, um, according to the intro, remember, don't look at the experiment. You don't have time. You have about 50 seconds per question. So we're going to go straight to the first problem. So read the problem. Based on the results of study one, this is important because this is a clue in terms of where we're going to look. Study one, the highest percent of finches on island B and island C had a beak depth of. Now we read the answer choices. I know in the reading section I say cover up the answer choices. Um, and then answer the question and go back to them. This, we're going to go immediately. In science, it's kind of like the opposite. We go immediately to the answer choices. So A, 8 millimeters. Island B, 8 millimeters. On island C, answer choice B, 9 millimeters, 12 millimeters. 10 millimeters, 8 millimeters. And answer choice D, 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters. So we have the beak sizes. We have study one. Island B and Island C. So this should give us enough clues in terms of where we're going to look. So if you look at your first page, we see study one, and then we see figure two. And figure two actually has three graphs, one for Island A, one for Island B, and one for Island C. So I actually pasted the graphs of Island B and Island C. We don't need Island A. We just need Island B and C. And then we have all of these uh, beak sizes or beak depths or whatever. So obviously, we look at this. It says beak depth. So these are probably the right graphs to look at. So it says the highest percent of finches on island B had, so we'll look at here. We see it says 10. So that's the highest for island B. So we can get rid of, if we just look at island B, we can get rid of A and B. Just start eliminating. Now let's look at island C. The highest percent is 10. So we can get rid of C. Oh, we've already gotten rid of A and B. So we're just left with answer choice D. And that's basically the science section. It really has nothing to do with science. You don't need to know anything about science. You just need to know um, how to find the right graph and right chart based off of the information uh, provided. And that's all there is to it. So I'll see you in the next video uh, for problem number two where we're going to do pretty much the same thing. All right, see you there. Bye.